Our story began with one man, Duncan Lawrence. 12, 12, 12, 12 points. Go to the Netherlands. Netherlands. This is to music first. first. feel good. Finally, live from Rotterdam, the 65th edition of the Eurovision Song Contest is about to burst onto your screens. And finally, after two years, we can thank Israel for hosting a great Eurovision Song Contest in 2019. Our musical hero left Tel Aviv with that prestigious award, and he is the reason why we are all here tonight. Duncan Lawrence! This week you can see a lot more of him. It's going to be a sensational evening, and we are so ready for this, at least I am. Music connects, because wherever you are right now, and whoever you're watching with, this will be a song contest that you won't easily forget, people. that we're just able to stand here. I really can't quite believe it. It's taken two years, but tonight the countdown now begins. Our very own Duncan Lawrence finally gets a successor, and I think he's looking forward to it. All right, we have a top show for you all this evening. 16 countries take each other on for one of 10 places in the grand final this Saturday. Six countries already have a place in the grand final, three of which we present to you this evening. Our theme is still open up, or rather open up again. And this evening, we are going to show you that Eurovision connects people now more than ever. You got that right. That's why I love the Eurovision Song Contest so much. We celebrate the music and unique sound of each country. And tonight, you can make sure that your favorites get through to Saturday's grand final. 
But how do you do that? Que la compétition commence. Nous avons six candidats pour seulement 10 places dans la finale de samedi. Ce sera à vous de décider qui pourra participer à la grande finale. Mais attention, vous ne pouvez pas voter pour votre propre pays. The final results are calculated by the points from the national juries and the outcome of the voting from the audience at home. Voting is very easy. Use our official Eurovision app, and if you don't have it, download it now. In this app, you can join in with our audience and clap for your favorites. It's fun. You can also vote by making a call or just sending a text message. And these are the numbers that you need to vote. The last two digits correspond with the song you vote for. And because I've been in their shoes, I completely get what our performers are going through right now. It's so nerve-wracking, but it's so amazing. One chance and three magical minutes to steal Europe's hearts. We might even already see the winner of 2021 on this stage tonight. Who knows? And don't forget that the voting lines will open straight after the last performance. I'm ready to go. You too? Have a fantastic evening, everyone. Let the Eurovision Song Contest begin!
hey child, why you hiding from the light? Why you cowering in fright? You'll get beaten and bruised, you'll be scarred into your core, but it's gonna make you who you are. When you learn to heal, when you learn to rise again, you can tell the sun, amen. Hallelujah, we're glorious. Well, accept it now. Let it persevere. Oh, let it count your blessings down. Greater future with amen. Поле, поле, я ж мало, поле, 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 так мало. Как пройти по полю из огня? Как пройти по полю, если ты одна? Ждать ли чего-то ручечки, ручки? Ну а кто подаст мне ручку, девочки? Из погоны ков с ночи до утра, с ночи ночи ждем мы корабля, ждем мы корабля, очень ночи с ночи до утра ждем мы корабля, ждем мы корабля. А чё ждать? Стала и пошла. Что там хорохорится? Ой, красавица, 
Ждешь своего инца, красавица, тебе уж за 30. Алло. Где же дети? Ты в целом красива, но вот похудеть бы на день по длине, на день покороче, расслабиться. Стадо вороны прошу отвалить ее. Теперь зарубите себе на носу. Я вас не виню, а себя я чертовски люблю. Морятся, морятся, все по кругу морятся, да не молятся. Сын без отца, дождь без отца, но слово. There's fire in the rain, but we'll get up again. We're a thousand miles apart, but we'll overcome. I'll never let you down. We're only standing us around, but I feel it in my heart. Let's make a brand new start. Just stop us now.
close to my mother I want to belong to the world A mirror that shows technicolor I'd be a magnificent I want to know that there's a future that I can move myself towards. And yeah, I promise you, yes, all you nasty dudes, I don't need certainty to get my pot of gold. times when I remember back, wish to hug the child about to crack. I'll tell him, wait, it won't be long. Trust your heart and just stay strong. Cause baby, they'll try to break us now. No what makes us this is how we found our way now here I stand there's no pretend the walls are down my heart's in your hand I'm changed some of my years. They all try to break us, not knowing it's what makes us. This is how we fight.
are times when I remember back and all I do is smile. And it's a lot, so let's get started. I ask you guys to get inspired by all the amazing music and performances from over the, from over the years. And oh boy, you did. Let's take a look at some eye-popping videos you guys have shared with the world. broke the internet with hashtag Eurovision challenge and I'm so proud of you. Please keep on sharing your challenges because during the grand final I'll be choosing a winner in our final online update. Not talking about winners, I talked to this year's contestants in my look lab studio. I feel overdressed now. You know when I heard I was going to Notre Dame I thought they said Notre Dame. So I did it! You did I it! I did it! So the message is yeah the stereotypes. <laughs> Be yourself. Yes. <laughs> So good to see that all the performing Eurovision artists are back at it again this year. Also back at it are our lovely Eurovision fans who like to dance. I love the Eurovision fans, and for one group of fans, I had something special in store. The first year we went as a group, we saw Conchita uh, Wurst won. What? Are you real? I am. Have a wonderful Eurovision time. Enjoy the contest. Bye. Conchita, what a surprise. Do you want to see more of this? Go to Eurovision.tv and please keep sharing how you follow the show and what you think of it by using the hashtag Eurovision. We cannot deny that the road to the 65th edition of the Eurovision Song Contest has been a bit bumpy. But here we are, so let's enjoy it and look to the future. Yes, who will be the winner of this unforgettable year? Maybe the lovely people from Lithuania, the room. How are you guys? Well. We're feeling great. You're feeling great? Yes. And how was it to start the show? You were on fire. You kicked off the show. Oh my God, yeah. It's a big honor to open such a big disco deck. Disco deck? Yes. <laughs> okay, but tell me, what is this finger dance? Uh, were you happy with the finger dance? What is it? Tell me, yeah. show me. It's it like, okay, we will tell you. Like, now we will tell you. Okay, tell me. This one is E, this one is V, Eurovision. Euro vision, Euro vision. Oh God, yeah, you can I, do I'm that. terrible at this. Okay, I will practice, I will practice. Good evening, guys. Let's <laughs> have a lot of fun tonight. Okay, Euro vision. Euro, Euro vision. vision. Oh, God. <laughs> and unfortunately, she couldn't travel to the Netherlands, but we have enjoyed her performance. I'm talking about the lovely Montaigne from Down Under, so let's connect with Australia. Good morning, Montaigne. Before we start, Montaigne, we just want to give you some extra, extra love. So here's a warm Rotterdam welcome. Montaigne, it's really strange to participate like this. How do you look back on your performance? 
Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm very proud of it. You know, with the amount of time we got given, I'm still really stoked. I'm just like really proud to be part of Eurovision. Thank you so much, Montaigne. Good luck tonight. I hope you stay awake. And now we move on with <laughs> Ireland. to keep you on the edge of your seats for just a bit longer. We're almost ready to let them take their place on the Eurovision stage. But just before they do, let me direct you to our new handy tool on Eurovision.tv because for the first time, you can now clap along, clap along if you feel with your favorite. So let's hear what you think of the performance and clap along. And how wonderful it is to have an audience in this arena once again. <laughs> After all this time, challenging for all of us and it's so great that we can be here in a safe way but it must be so nerve-wracking for all the artists here and their friends here and their relatives just to be here and celebrate all right are we ready for the next country here is Ireland i 
So don't miss our grand fad on Saturday because Duncan Lawrence is singing new music in live world premiere for us. And prepare yourselves for a spectacular interval act, Music Binds Us. Our Eurovision Classical Orchestra and world famous DJ Afrojack have been preparing this for more than a year. And believe me, the results are impressive. Now let's move on with the first semifinal, and I think they're ready. Here's El Diablo Cypress. <laughs>
can I say I can't make her stay when I know that she's so far above how could she ever love someone like me she's out of reach here in the dark inside the hole in my heart I'm fighting all of my demons trying to tear me apart and I'm still not sure what you Tried to fix the broken pieces, now I'm leaving But you made it light and clear, I'm not enough Try to fool me more than once to keep me dreaming Cause you knew the truth would tear us apart If you pull me down
think I could use another drink I'm reaching for a smoke to forget about last night Last night I get up cause I need a shot of instant remedy I put a record on that makes me think about last night Last night It all ended in the weirdest trip You started acting way too hip so long getting you out of my life I feel so strong set me free feel my beat and hide in perfect harmony don't let me down feeling like you're prison looking for the reason I don't wanna say goodbye feels like no tomorrow
have performed so far now let's switch over to a past winner because this Saturday he will perform with other legendary winners not here on stage but raised up to a great height shining out from the most beautiful rooftops in Rotterdam he's one of my Eurovision heroes of course I'm talking about Mol Samalo <laughs> Mons, what's the strangest place you ever did a show Ooh, the strangest place uh, that must be, be Stockholm, the, the highest tower in Stockholm. We had to climb up on ladders, and then when we came up, we had like these safety belts on, and uh, I was petrified that I would fall. Uh, but th and this is quite similar. It's just, uh, just better, obviously. Of course, it's better here. Let's go back to your winning moment in 2015. We are the heroes of our time. Heroes. How does it feel to be back on a Eurovision stage again? It feels so good. I always manage to, to get and get myself in somehow every year. So I'm, I'm very, very thankful to be back. And I mean, this competition has meant so much to me and to my career. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping I'll get to join every Eurovision there is to come. So thank you. You will perform with Lodi amongst others in the grand final. So find your most scary face mask and get ready. Good luck, Mons. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That serious moment of the evening is moving steadily closer. 12 of the 16 songs have already been performed so far. So let's get on with the contest then. Four songs to go and we move on with Romania.
Once upon a time I used to know girl Red jeans, messy hair, shining like a pearl Like a summer day she could push the night so far away If you feel what I feel, see what I see, don't bring yourself down You are not alone, not alone now Oh, I lost myself trying to have it all These great fears in a rush And they say they know it all oh, I lost myself trying to have it all Some fly for me, yeah Don't worry if it got you Cause you're not alone, not alone I tried to find it but it's getting strong Getting strong, getting strong Oh, I lost myself trying to have it all Some fly for me There's no stopping me now. I'm a liar, playing the game of desire. Ain't gonna live no survivors. Would you fall for me now? Just like Cleopatra, the army of lovers. Mesmerizing, moving my hips 
special act from our own Lowlands will be splashing onto your screens. And we are close to that moment when you can get your favorite into the grand final. Maybe the one that's coming up next. It might be Ukraine.
In a few moments, Malta will complete this semi-final. But just before we all enjoy destiny here on stage, I want to take a moment to reflect on this unique evening because it's been a bizarre year for all of us. And that's why we realize and can appreciate more than ever how fantastic it is to share this event with a real live audience. So give yourselves a big round of applause. for us now, please enjoy Malta!
first semifinal. Tenovic, you will see again in the grand final on Saturday night. And now, finally, it's your turn to spring into action. This is the moment when you can support your favorite act. Your vote can help get your winner into the grand final. And voting couldn't be easier. You can vote up to 20 times by making a call or sending a text message, or you can use the official Eurovision app. And here's a friendly reminder. I know it's obvious, but I'm going to tell you anyway, you cannot vote for your own country. Is that your friendly way? Great. <laughs> All the information that you need to vote can be seen in your screen right now. The last two digits correspond with the song that you're going to vote for. Well, this is the moment of truth for all of our nervous performers. They've worked so hard for the desirable place in the final, and their fate is in your hands. So now it's time to support your favorite. We have 10 places in the grand final and 16 artists dreaming of a place. And remember, your vote will make a big difference to the eventual results. Let's open up those lines, shall we? Three, two, one, Europe, start voting now!
meantime, we've got something very special coming up. It's hard to imagine, but almost a quarter of the Netherlands lies below sea level. Here in our country, we have often fought against the power of water. Humanity's resilience is our greatest strength. Our relationship with water has been the inspiration for a very special performance. And headlining this act, we have pop sensation Davina Michel. I hope all of you here managed to stay dry. And for everyone at home watching, please enjoy the power of water. Ordinary day with many final hours. Why do I complain? Why is too much still not enough for rain on me? For some it flows, for some it drips, but most of us get none of it. To those in need of only little sin. Cry a river just for you, so you can feed your children too. If all of us would give a little bit, why don't we share sweet, sweet water? What if the thirsty one was your own son or daughter? Why don't we? Please don't forget to vote. Do it now. Then you know 
you've done your bit to see your song again on Saturday. You have been entertained with 16 original songs, and now it is up to you. You can still download the Eurovision app, make a call, or send a text. And it's really easy, but be quick, because we really want to know which 10 countries will make it to the grand final. And this final promises to be something very special. For one time only, we are bringing a full piece orchestra back to Eurovision. I know just what they're thinking in the green room. Let's just get to the results. But we'll get there, believe me. The lines will be closing shortly. This is your last chance to support your favorite. Do it right away. Your vote will bring your chosen song one step closer to the grand final. Let's look at those 16 fantastic songs once again. Let's disco tech right at my home in this okay to dance alone, dance alone, dance alone, dance alone.
songs, every one of them has a chance of a place in the grand final this Saturday. On your screen, you can see how to vote, which you really should do now because time is ticking by. Yes, and the blood pressure is rising steadily here with the artists. Everyone is waiting for the results with their hearts racing, I think. This is your last chance. Grab that phone. Please vote for your top favorite one more time while you still can because that moment to close the lines is fast approaching. This really is your last chance to have your say. They have all worked incredibly hard to get to this moment and are counting on you. Okay, Europe, this is the part we like. The lines are really, really going to close now. And it's time for the famous Eurovision countdown. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Eurovision Song Contest changes your life. You go into the history books forever. You are invited to Eurovision parties every year, and you can be sure that sometime in May, your song will always come up. Now, who would want that? <laughs> well, it's the 65th edition, so an extra special party. That's why we put past winners in an extraordinary spotlight this week. We've invited them to share with us that ultimate moment once again. The result is a very moving film, and tonight we bring you part one. This is a winner's journey starring the biggest Eurovision winner of all time, Mr. Johnny Logan. What's another year to someone who's lost everything? about winning Eurovision was winning Eurovision. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. It's very emotional because after 46 years, youth still love me with a song that they didn't listen when it appears in 73. I am the voice in the wind and the pouring rain. I am the voice of your hunger and pain. I've had the most beautiful career, you know, singing for Pope Francis' visit to Ireland, Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II, most extraordinary honours. You know, the song The Troubadour I made myself, I was only 90 years old, uh, so this is really uh, something that shines in a person, shines in a singer. Uh, to be a winner, to be gold. It was so incredible. I remember exactly what, what was my feeling. It's done, I did it. <laughs> What's another year? Irlande, 12 points. Ireland, 12 points. It was a huge achievement. To win one Eurovision is a huge achievement. To win three is impossible. What's Another Year was lovely, but uh, the second Eurovision um, established me as a writer as well as a singer. The winner is Ireland. Johnny Logan, the composer on the stage, please. Johnny Logan is historical. Third time. Those moments will always be huge moments in my life. The winner of the Eurovision Song Contest for 1977 is France. All my story, all my career began on 77. United Kingdom. This time of year, every year the phone rings and then people want to relive the moment, that <laughs> magical three minutes. Ireland is the winner. I've had just an absolutely blessed life since then. Netherlands. You always carry it with you that you are a winner. Luxembourg. The impact how three minutes can become an eternity, and that's the miracle. Those wins, they'll never disappear. They'll always be part of Eurovision history. That'll, you know, the music will be there long after the fame is gone. 
For the 65th Song Contest, our dear colleague Nikki has delved into the rich archives of Eurovision. The first song contest was held in 1956. We weren't even born then. And certainly not our young online queen, Nikki. She's still so young, born in 1994. And this time, no make and bless and do, but the do's and don'ts of Eurovision. And tonight, an answer to a pressing question, is winning really that important? Hello guys, it's me, Nikki, with Eurovision Tutorials. So contestants, let's open up, get it? And be real, you're in a contest. So let's address the pink glowing elephant in the room. No, not me, you guys. Rude. I'm talking about not winning. Listen, we all know you're talented people with wonderful acts. Your mommy said you're all winners. We are the winners of your vision. We are, we are. But not tonight, because with the exception of the one winner we'll have tonight, you are all going to not win. But honey, no worries, because here's some tips on how to not win and shine. <laughs> Tip one, when not winning, try to look beyond the attention and applause of tonight. Because when you think about it, what became of all these winners anyway? I was defeated, you the prayers are by now. And whatever happened to Celine Dion? Well, we all know what happened to her. She became fantastic, fabulous, famous, and phenomenal, and let's move on. Tip two, never doubt yourself, but never blame others. Just do it for your love. Yes, your high note was off pitch, and no, honey, it wasn't your mic. Millions of people all heard it was really you not winning at singing. But guess what? We saw the struggle is real, and we love you for it. So don't bemoan it, own it. Finally, tip three, not winning the contest wins you quality time. At last, now there's time to cook your family a meal or read your kids a bedtime story. You'll have to introduce yourself first, but still, winning. So go out and make your mommies proud. And may the best act win and not win. Bye, guys. Next to me is the man that stole Europe's heart with his incredible song, Arcade. And now, two years later, Arcade is becoming a worldwide smash hit, raising up the global charts. You know what? Let's have a look. Small town boy in a big arcade. I Arcade is a song about longing, longing for love, longing for something that seems out of reach. And it speaks of hope, hope that you will find that thing you need in life. Arcade really feels like that first word of advice to myself and who knows, maybe it helps someone somewhere just like music did to me and does to me every day. I truly hope so. Wow, Duncan. Insane. Duncan Lawrence. I have got a surprise for you. Do you know that you have a billion streams and that the biggest surprise here is that you have a global platinum? Oh my god! <laughs> crazy right now. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah, we're going to see him Saturday with a unique performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Dark Lawrence. Yeah. We have now heard all the songs for this
this evening, and as you probably know, the Big Five and the Netherlands are guaranteed a place in the grand final. And we really want to hear what they sound like. Tonight, we put three of those songs in the spotlight. You'll hear more from the other three in Thursday's second semifinal. Here are the lovely people from Monaskin. Oh, hello. hello, everybody. Two years ago, Italy came in second just behind Duncan Lawrence with 472 points. So their hopes are high for this year. Guys, how are you dealing with this pressure? We're not feeling like that much pressure, pressure because we're really happy just to be here and we really want to thank all the people who are supporting us all around the world and all around Europe. We're really happy about it and we appreciate it. Exactly. The last time a rock song won was with Lordy. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Um, we're, we're happy to represent like Italian rock music, so yes. we feel like a huge responsibility, but at the same time, we're there you go. just there happy you go. to be here. All right, let's have a listen to their song. Yeah. country that is sure of a place in the grand final is Germany. Hi, Jendrik. Hello. Guten Tag. Oh, Wie geht's? Tag. Good, good. <laughs> oh, you're so cool. Look, we're matching now. We are so matching. Yeah. I saw you yesterday and I was like, oh, I have to match now. You have to match. <laughs> well, that's good. Hey, um, Jendrik, your yes. song is entitled, I Don't Feel Hate. Yes. Tell me, do you really never feel hate? No. No, well, no, because sometimes I do feel hate, but I wrote this song as a reminder for us all that even in a moment where you feel hate, yeah. you should reflect on it and you shouldn't go on the same level as the other haters are and you should be better and fight the hate with, you know, love. You are a positive <laughs> guy. Indeed, love, that's what we need. Thank you, we're gonna watch his song. This is I Don't Feel Hate. Hey. I don't feel hate. There's some kind of validation You go with the frustration that you're earning me fixation It's another affirmation that you just have a person Who's not really better than me And last but certainly not least We are so proud of him Our very own Jean-Luc McCoy Take it all in, honey Yes <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, Jean-Luc, you've been waiting two very long years for this. What has kept you going all this time? The thing that has kept me going is actually looking towards the future. I've been dreaming of Eurovision, and we're finally here. There's an audience. And I'm so very grateful that we get to celebrate this together. All right, I can't wait to see your performance and to see where you're going to be performing on Saturday. Here is...
Saturday. Right, our executive supervisor, Martin Oosterdaal, is checking if all the results are in now. But first, let's look ahead to this, this Thursday's show, the second semi-final. to find out which 10 countries will appear again in the grand final this Saturday. And we have a new face at Eurovision. The European Broadcasting Union has a new boss who oversees everything. And we are very happy to introduce him to you, the brand new executive supervisor of the Eurovision Song Contest, Mr. Martin Oosterdaal. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Oosterdaal. Hi, Jan. Hi, Chantal. Hi, Rotterdam. Um, it, I'm just so happy that we're all here tonight. It's an uh, incredible atmosphere. Thank you very much. Do we have an official result? Yes, the uh, Eurovision Song Contest voting drama is about to unfold again. Uh, I can tell you that we have checked and verified all the votes and that we have a valid result. So with that, Jan and Chantal, you're good to go. Thank you, Mr. Oosterdaal. Okay, everyone, this is the most exciting part of the show. The results to 10 qualifying countries will be announced in random order. Which 10 countries will we see this Saturday in our grand final? We're going to find out now. The first country. The first country that is guaranteed the place in the grand final is Norway! The second final is... is... Israel! for the grand final on Saturday is... The seventh, sorry, the sixth finalist. You can feel the tension. The sixth finalist is... Cyprus! 
seven. Many celebrations in the green room so far. There are nine participants left, still hoping to celebrate, but only three spots left in the final. The eighth finalist is... Sweden! Only two spots left in the grand final. Which country will we see back on our stage this Saturday? The ninth finalist qualified for the grand final is... participants in the green room just waiting well what else can they do now there's only one spot left this is really tense who's coming back this saturday for the grand final to become the winner of Eurovision 2021. So 10 places left, and the countries competing for those last 10 Eurovision tickets for the grand final can be seen in the second semi-final. It's been an unbelievable night. The Eurovision roller coaster ride has really begun. So come and join us on Thursday. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye! Bye.